Meanwhile, 28 minutes before the top of the hour, teleprompter troubles again for President Obama. During a St. Patrick's Day ceremony at the White House, Irish Prime Minister Brian Cowan begins reading his statement and then realized it was the same statement Obama had just read. Cowan turned back to the president and said, that's your speech. Yep, teleprompter, teleprompter troubles again for President Obama. During a St. Patrick's Day ceremony at the White House, Irish Prime Minister Brian Cowan began reading the statement and then realized it was the same, same one Obama just read. Cowan turned back to the president and said, hey, that's your speech. You know what's so funny about it is that there were teleprompter troubles for the president again because during a St. Patrick's Day ceremony at the White House, the Irish Prime Minister Brian Cowan began reading the statement and then he realized it was the very same one that Obama Obama had just read, and then Cowan turned back to the president and said, whoops, that's your speech. Now, it's how so embarrassing when there's prompter <laughs> problems. Like, yeah. I can understand. It's a situation like this where we are slaves to the teleprompter because the producers put in the little prompts for the most part. It'll and they are geniuses, able, the producers. They are geniuses. And they look nice today, too. Yes, uh, and, yes. And so we do use the teleprompter to tell us what is coming up. For instance, we're going to talk about in, in a moment about this terrible case with uh, uh, Liam Neeson's wife, uh, the actress Natasha Richardson. And so this actually happened last night at the White House where the Prime Minister is there, he gets up after uh, Obama spoke, but somebody loaded the wrong speech into the teleprompter, so he just started reading it. And he thanked himself for being there. As we, Barack Obama did. Right, yeah. Barack Obama <laughs> thanked himself. As we can attest, prompter problems happen. Right. And perhaps we shouldn't be the ones uh, laughing about it. But you'd think at the White House they would iron those things out before a dignitary from a visiting country. But it happens. Well, I wonder if he, if he read it like Barack Obama. He had to do the same speech twice in the same day. And on top of that, doesn't that just show how it would have, would have a difficult adjustment the Obama administration's having behind the scenes to be, be taken over the White House? Well, you can't leave your guy out there twisting like that. There, there you can see some of the video uh, of uh, Barack Obama at that small business uh, uh, event a couple of days ago reading the teleprompter and that's one thing uh, Barack Obama uses a teleprompter everywhere not even only, in well, the White House, which is uh, extraordinary, also, no. and out on the road, and it's not you know, close. George Bush used it, but didn't use it that much. I don't think any president has ever. Well, used but a I mean, let's like face that. it. Barack Obama is known for how carefully crafted his words are. His speeches, you know, are. He's president of the United States. You ought to be able to. What if there's an electrical failure? I'm going to give the speech as soon as we uh, turn on the the uh, the little generator thing. Batteries. I'm sure he can speak off the cuff. You know what I do? Like when we're away Though for a we while. We don't say it that often. Like remember, two uh, we were away for two weeks during the convention. When I went home to the dinner table and I was eating at home, I really felt out of rhythm. So what I did is I hooked up a prompter. Sure. And I came up with a series of questions. I was able to read the prompter and flow. My, my family never picked up on it. Did you uh, ask the questions strange. and then answer them as no. well? No. No, that's good. I, had a, I, I brought a prompter operator home with me All from right. Minnesota. That's better.